Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute monster. And that monster was inspired by Mike Wazowski from the movie Monster Inc. And if you're interested how to draw that cute monster, then keep watching. Now, guys, you see the size of our workspace. And now you see the colors, which I'm going to use in my tutorial. If you want to download an original AI file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And I want to say thank you all my patrons. I very appreciate your support. And now let's start our tutorial. The workspace is ready and colors are already in the swatches panel. And now I'm going to create the main shapes of my monster so you can take for now any color. For example, let it be this one. And let's take ellipse tool. And we need to create ellipse with the size 448 by 558 okay and let's change the shape with help of direct selection tool you need to move this point a little up and now let's go to effect distort and transform free distort and move these points like this. Okay. Now object, expand appearance. Okay. Now let's select this point and move it three times to the left and this point and move it three times to the right. Okay, and now let's create the leg. Let's select rectangle tool. And we need to create rectangle 50 by 172. And move it here. Now again rectangle tool. And we need to create rectangle 40 by 286 okay and move it here it will be our hand now let's work with leg take direct selection tool and select this point move it here okay now pen tool and we need to draw here the leg Draw like me, this way. If you don't know how to work with pen tool, you need to go to my tutorial about pen tool. Okay, like this. And now let's take direct, direct selection tool and we need to hold and drag the corners, which we need to round. Great. Now let's select both shapes and go to Pathfinder Unite. Now direct selection tool and select that point, hold and drag it to round corner, select these two points and a little move them here and this leg a little up, select this corner and round, hold and drag and round this corner, okay. 
now you can play with shapes as you like with help of direct selection tool you can make the like a, a little wider shorter thinner as you like it's your monster and now take again pen tool and let's draw here some shapes like this it's the fur of our monster copy and paste the shape make it smaller and move here like that now select this shape and rotate it and the same here now select all shapes of the leg and pathfinder unite now direct selection tool and you need to hold and drag the points to round them to create more realistic view okay now let's create the hand go to effect warp arc and here vertical and 33 percent expand appearance and move here now let's rotate the shape and make it a little shorter more rotate okay more rotate a little more yes like this close it to the body okay and now i need to select pen tool and draw here a small shape like this to make the hand more realistic okay i like it now select both shapes and pathfinder unite and send back yes i like it now pen tool and let's draw here the hand it is well as well right easy okay the monitor is going to have only two fingers but you can draw more fingers like this and the last one okay now close the path now direct selection tool and we need again select the corner hold and corners hold and drag them and round the corners select both shapes of the hand pathfinder and unite here as well we need select the point and round the corner and here you see i can't round the corner so here we have the mistake maybe i have here two points let's look uh, let's select di let's take direct selection tool and let's look yep i have two points here so i need to go to pen tool and take pen tool with minus and delete unwanted point now you see i can to round uh, the corner now select hold and drag it and round the corner well next step is fix a little the hand like that now egg and pen tool 
and hanging here I need to draw some fur this way okay copy and paste it make it smaller and put here okay now i need to make the body other color to see it okay let's select the hand and send it back and select the leg and send it back and now i need to move these shapes here and like that okay let's make it bigger i think it's better here and rotate now select all shapes all the hands pathfinder unite direct selection tool and the same select the corners here and round them hold and drag and round them and now if you like you can round the ends of the fur like this to make them more softer and the same you can do here okay or you can stay them like it was before now let's take white color and ellipse tool and let's draw here the ellipse like this it will be our eye now direct selection tool and select this point and move it up so let's make the size of the eye a little bigger like that okay now let's take uh, for example this color and let's draw the ellipse here it will be the mouth and now let's play with the size of the mouth let it be like this direct section tool and move this point down okay make it sh uh, shorter and a little bigger okay i think it's great now a little shorter like this i like the smile now select both shapes the eye and the mouth and align them now let's take that green color and let's draw the eye okay now go to object path offset path and let's take here minus seven okay and now let's take the green color and object path offset path minus 25 okay maybe minus 20 yes it's better and black color okay and now let's select all shape all shapes of the eye and make them bigger like that i like it now let's select the white shape of the eye and copy and paste it now let's take rectangle tool and we need to cut off the part of the copy of the eye i think like this now select both shapes pathfinder intersect now green color this one for a while and effect bob arc lower and here we need horizontal and 
this size minus 8 maybe minus 7 ok object expand appearance now let's work with mouth select the mouth we need to take the darkest brown color and now let's take ellipse tool draw the ellipse and select the red color this one and now let's create the copy of the ellipse hold alt and make the copy select both and align them okay now select move the ellipses like this uh, now uh, go to pathfinder and unite okay now copy and paste the mouth and select the copy of the mouth and these ellipses and pathfinder intersect okay now let's take this color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse like this now copy and paste the mouth and select these ellipse and the copy of the mouth the finder intersect and send the tongue in front okay let's take white color and rectangle tool and draw some teeth you can draw teeth any shape you like it's a monster so it's pretty interesting if the monster will have different teeth okay now select the mouth and all teeth and take builder tool hold alt and delete unwanted parts and this again the mouth and the teeth builder tool and alt and delete unwanted part okay now direct selection tool select these two corners and around the corners as you like if the tooth the teeth will be different it will be interesting so you can round corners as you like like that and now i need to draw some more details and they will be nails like this just ellipse tool and draw here the nail direct section tool and move this point down now pen tool and draw here the shape like this now select the hand and the nail and builder tool alt and delete unwanted part okay and direct selection tool and round that corner on the nail and this nail you can make a little bigger like this okay and now let's copy and paste this nail rotate it and move here this way and now you can make it shorter like this copy and paste it and move here make it shorter okay and let's play a little with the size of the nails and you can play with direct selection tool to create more realistic view of the nails like this and the last detail twice copy and paste this dark green shape one of the copy a little up 
Okay. Select both copies. And Pathfinder minus front. And take that color. Okay. I think it's the shapes are ready. And now let's add colors. Copy and paste the eye twice. One of the copy move a little up. Select both copies. Pathfinder minus front. Okay. And take light gray color. Make the shape a little smaller. Like this. Okay. Now let's copy and paste the white shape. Move it a little to the right and down and take uh, that green color, send the shape backward and move like this to the center. Now copy and paste this dark green shape and move it to the right and a little down and take that gray color and opacity multiply and let's select that shape and move it a little down okay now let's take white color and draw here some ellipses with different sizes it will be like highlights Great. Okay. Now let's select that light green shape and radial gradient. We need to add dark green color and here light green color. And don't forget to delete white color. And let's move the slider closer to the dark green color. Okay. Now let's take that part, let's select that part of the eye, copy and paste it, move down, okay, like that, make it wider, copy and paste the white part and this shape, it select the copy and this shape and the finder intersect and light gray color opacity multiply and send it backward and maybe let's take dark gray color yes i think it's better and now let's move the shape down make it wider and now copy and paste the white shape of the eye, select the copy and this gray shape and Pathfinder intersect. Now select that part, radial gradient and let's add here this green color and here this one. Uh, now let's copy and paste twice this shape, one of the copy move up, select both copies, Pathfinder minus front and opacity multiply and transparency of that part 50 and opacity maybe overlay, no let it be multiply, multiply is better and now let's take this corner with help of direct selection tool and hold and drag it to round the corner okay now let's make transparency here maybe 40 40 will be better okay 
and now let's take white color and ellipse to a uh, rectangle tool draw here the rectangle like this effect warp bulge and here we need vertical and let's move the slider here 12% object expand appearance okay let's move here copy and paste this part select the copy and this rectangle pathfinder intersect and transparency or 20 or 30 as you like more i think 30 is better now let's select that shape and gradient tool and move the gradient here okay now let's select green color this one and ellipse tool and draw some ellipses of different sizes like that and now direct selection tool and move points like that to create more interesting shapes select all shapes and here transparency 80 70 as you like now let's work with the body let's select the body and radial gradient here we need the lightest green color and here let's move the slider okay copy and paste the body make the copy smaller and shorter make white color opacity overlay and here let it be 20 percent okay move down like this now let's again copy and paste the body but now copy and paste it twice one of the copy move a little down select both copies and pathfinder minus front and this shape this color opacity multi uh, overlay and here let it be 50 percent let's make this shape longer it will be better okay and now copy and paste again twice the body one of the copy uh, move up and uh, to the left now select both copies for finder minus front and let's take this dark green color opacity overlay and transparency 50 let's make it move it here make it like this okay and now let's copy and paste these shapes and just put them in any place you like the most okay now let's work with teeth let's change the color at first take this color for the teeth and copy and paste the teeth make the copy smaller and make it white color make smaller the same here copy and paste the teeth the tooth and make it 
white color and the same here copy and paste the tooth and move like this and make white color now we need to take dark selection tool and round these corners like that okay now let's take dark color for the teeth and draw here some ellipses just to create more interesting view okay now copy a uh, copy and paste a ton make the copy smaller and shorter move here let it be white color and transparency 20. now move here dark section tool and you need to round this corner and this one and a little this one Okay, now make it shorter maybe and now longer. Okay, let's take dark section tool and move these points up. And now you can take smooth tool to make shapes here a little smoother okay i like now let's twice copy and paste this part of the mouth one of the copy down select both copies pathfinder minus front let's take dark gray color and send it to front opacity multiply okay and now let's um select again that shape copy and paste it one once uh, send to backward move to the right and down and light green color again copy and paste it move like this and take this color and send to backward okay and again copy and paste it and move a little up send backward at first and move a little up and to the left and let it be dark green color this one okay the mouth is ready now let's work with hands and legs let's select nails and make them that color like teeth now let's select uh, the hand and we need to add radial gradient for the hand move the gradient with help of the uh, gradient tool here and move the slider closer to the light green color like that now let's move the gradient here okay now light green color pen tool and here we need to draw highlight for the fur like that you can move straight to the fur shape or create your own highlight like this now you can make it ugly here now select the hand and new shape and builder tool uh, builder tool and alt and delete unwanted part and you need to take uh, direct selection tool to round corners okay now select all shapes of the hand and send them back and direct section tool and take this point and move up okay 
Now go to Opacity and Overlay. OK. And Transparency, let it be 75. OK. And uh, with the same way, I'm going to add dark green highlight here. It will be like shadow. OK, now again select, if you need, you need to round the corner, select the hand and this shadow builder tool and old and delete unwanted part and opacity multiply and let it be overlay it will be better and select all shapes and send them back okay and the last one take this color and let's draw here highlight like this and the same select the hand and the shape builder tool Hold Alt and delete unwanted part. And round the corner here with direct selection tool. And here overlay. Transparency let it be 70. OK. And now let's move the nail to front. So guys, the same here, let's take light green color and pen tool and draw here the highlight for this part, like that. Okay, now let's select the shape and the hand, builder tool and delete this part. Okay, and the same with direct selection tool, you need to round corners. Like that. And now you need to send all shapes of the hand, uh, of the leg to back. Okay. Now take this shape and opacity overlay. OK, and now let's uh, add gradient like on the hand, move the gradient here like that. OK, now change transparency to 70. OK, now we need to create some shadows. Uh, let's take pen tool and draw here uh, the shape like that. OK, now copy and paste the leg and select that shape, Pathfinder intersect and take that color. Send to back all shapes and send to back. OK. And send to back the leg. Now, uh, here opacity uh, normal and 100%. OK. Now let's go on. Let's copy and paste the leg twice one of the copy move here select both copies pathfinder minus front and we need that color and let's move these two points down and this point make like this delete this one okay 
and now here overlay and 70 yes and now let's work with nails we need to do the same thing like uh, with teeth copy and paste the nail make the copy smaller and make it white color and round the corners so like that Okay, now select the hand and unselect unwanted objects. You need to hold shift to unselect unwanted objects. We need only hand. Now copy and paste it and transform reflect vertical. Okay and put it here and send to back like that okay now let's take the leg let's select the leg transform reflect vertical copy and move here send to back okay now let's add egg and gradient let's move it here make it wider okay and the same here And now let's play more with gradient. Let's select the leg and gradient tool. Move it like that. And the same with that leg. Okay. Let's select the monster and move it here. I think the monster is ready. Let's create the background. We need to take rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like this with radial gradient. Move the radial gradient to the center. And now let's add the darkest green color here. And let's move the slider like this. And let's create the glowing for our monster this way let's move the slider till you'd like the result okay move the slider I think it's pretty good and now let's create some shadows Below the motor, let's take ellipse tool with radial gradient. Here we need only black color and here green color like this and opacity screen. Move here. Now copy and paste it. Make it shorter, smaller, thinner and move here like that now copy and paste it rotate it put here and again copy and paste it now make it longer rotate move here and send background and the shadow to back 
now make the shadow longer and shorter like this let's add here this color and copy and paste the shadow make it uh, thinner and add light green color select uh, the first shadow and play the gradient a, li a little like this and make the shape of the gradient a little longer and send all shadows and background to back okay and that's all guys our monster is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in adobe photoshop or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye